it comes with its ups and downs and everything, uh, a lot of experiences and, and all that type of stuff. But I guess going through the age groups uh, into the Opens, uh, training with a lot of the guys that were already in the Opens for many years, I was able to sort of mooch knowledge off them and sort of apply it to myself. And uh, I guess a lot of it as well was, um, was confidence. Uh, going into open events and being like, yeah, I've done all this in training. I can, I can repeat it, and it doesn't really matter who I'm versing. I can still do my own race. So I guess it's a, it's a matter of that, and you've got to have the right mind frame. If you can be real positive going through the whole process, then I think you can come out perfect. Um, I try to find uh, sort, of, sort of like areas that aren't involved with swimming, so I try to find analogies in in I don't know, other sports, um, academics like physics and stuff like that, and uh, if I can, if I can sort of draw different areas of life, like motivation from different areas of life, and apply it to swimming, then I think I get a more worldly type of I don't know, like experience, experience and motivation and, and that type of stuff. It's it's hard to explain. Like I. I I'm not the one that would be at home constantly thinking about training and, and, and my races and stuff like that to get motivation. I'm more thinking about how other people go about life and, and enjoy life the most. And if I can apply that to, to swimming, then I think uh, everything else just comes with the enjoyment. I guess, well, doing training day in, day out, you're working with the cycle boards, you're working with a lot of times, and you've you got to really Add, add times up down to the microsecond real quick or sub subtract them and everything so uh, I guess that sort of plays a good role um, mentally if I want to do quick calculations and all that um, and I actually I spend a lot of time trying to find analogies between the two like uh, like when my legs are kicking it's like an oscillating electric uh, electric and magnetic field the water is sort of like the the Higgs field and all that type of stuff um, but yeah I, I just find I find fun out of that actually it's sort of a little bit nerdy, but I don't even care. It's fun. Well, Rich has his analogies as well. He's, he's real good. He goes on about the Queensland Reds, uh, about the military, about Oompa Loompas, about Lumberjacks. It, it's interesting, actually. I reckon it actually brings a level of, of enjoyment to training because you, you never know what he's going to come up with next, and it's so funny. Um, well, it depends. It varies a lot. Like, we could, we could have good, really good intellectual debates or we could just be talking about random stuff. Like, I don't know, it changes, but it's always real interesting and, and uh, we're always involved with each other's lives and it's really good. I reckon the main target would be just to improve on 2013 uh, with my times in the pool. Um, in, terms of, in terms of competition, I'd say I want to enjoy the Commonwealth Games because um, it'll be my first one. I want to take as much in as I can. Uh, and the Pan Packs would be awesome because it's on the Gold Coast, so I'll have all my friends and family coming to watch. So I guess, um, obviously I want to compete the best I can, but I also want to get the most out of them. I'm picking up the workload in the first half of the year, so I can sort of focus on the swimming in the second half because I've got the Commonwealth Games, the Pan Packs, and the, and the World Short Course, if I qualify for them. But um, yeah, and I'll just be doing my, my usual reading, like I don't know, catching up on, on stuff, and. Yeah, really enjoying it. Thank you.